Hi, in this affinity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create text to conform to any shape. So this is continuing from my last video where we talked about creating picture frames from any shape. So this time we're going to do it with text. So I'm going to start with a heart shape. So in the shapes tool off to the left, I'm going to pick the heart tool and we will draw out a heart. And then all I need to do is go up to layer, convert to text frame. And so it automatically put me on the text tool when I did that. And I can click in here and let's just make the font a little bigger and I can start typing my text. Um, and then for the sake of speed, we'll just copy and paste that a bunch of times. Oops. So you get the idea. So I'm going to take this out and let's just go to text and insert filler text, which puts some lorem ipsum in there. And then let's just select this and make this a little bit bigger again. So now you can see that it, as a smaller font, it's going to conform to the shape a little better than a bigger font. It's still going to look okay, but a smaller font tends to work a little bit better in terms of actually making it look like the shape. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say about this is it works best if you are in center alignment. So if we move the text to the left or the right, or even this left and right justified, it just doesn't quite look as good as it does when it's just completely centered. And then finally, um, once we have changed this, you'll see that we can change the color of the font here. If we go back to this original shape we had, we're not seeing options to change away from this purple. So where you need to find that is go to the text tool and in the contextual toolbar, go to this icon up here that says text frame. And then with this selected, you can adjust the fill. So let's take it off altogether. And now we have text that is in the shape of our heart. So that can make for some fun layouts, particularly in magazines or book style layouts. So I hope you have some fun with that. Thanks for watching.